Hey everyone, so I decided to do something different. Um, I'm going to try doing an article card reading for you guys. I This is my first time doing this for anybody but myself. So I am going to be using the books, but I'm going to try to, you know, do a general message at the end after I read all the what all the cards mean. So forgive me for not using solely my intuition, but, you know, it's my first time, so... All right, so the first deck I'm going to use is the Soul Coaching Oracle Cards by Denise Lynn. And I'm kind of just doing this as like a general, maybe like October 11th to October 18th, like a week Oracle card reading, like, or a weekly one. But I'm not necessarily going to do it every week. I'm just kind of trying this on for size. But I might start doing them every week. I don't know. I'm just kind of rolling with whatever I feel like at this time. So anyway, I'm going to shuffle the cards, so see what comes up for everybody this week. What are you guys supposed to know? Okay, so here's one, yeah, and I'm going to be doing uh, three more cards also from this uh, Divine Guidance deck. and. See how that goes. Ooh, I like the cards though. Truth, passion, and power. Woo! <laughs> All right. And what I like to do is kind of go like, because it always seems to like supplement the messages above, or the above messages supplement the messages below. And I always kind of do it from like most practical cards to more spiritual cards to kind of go with what's going on, kind of, or whatever. Huh, interesting, right? <sighs> All right, All right. We'll see how this goes. All right, so for the beginning of the week, um, we have truth, and this one I think is balance, if I remember correctly, so. So the first card is Find your truth. Be honest with yourself and speak your heart. Walk your talk and follow your inner guidance in all activities. You are the truth. Listen for what is sincere and honest in others. Often the hardest thing about living your truth is knowing what that is. There's a place inside of you that always knows what's true for you and what isn't. Sometimes it takes sincere silence and deep stillness to find that voice. But once you do discover it, let go of anything in your life that isn't authentic, really relationships that don't empower you, and situations in which you find yourself being less than honest for fear of being judged or not accepted. Miracles follow when you take the time to be genuine. I live my truth, is the affirmation. So yeah, definitely want to be honest with yourself and others and really release what isn't authentic for you. And I think we're all kind of working on that sort of thing, and it's definitely been a theme in a lot of oracle card readings I've been seeing too, actually. Oh wait, whoops, I did, all right. So, for the one above that, it says balance. Life is all about balance, and this card is here to help you create more balance in all aspects of your life. Work and play, relationship time and alone time, social time and quiet meditation, physical activity and rest, giving and receiving, feminine energy and masculine energy, Balancing out each aspect of your life will enable you to give your energy to the world in a much more grounded and centered way. Huh, so I'm thinking if you live authentically and maintain a balance in your life, then you will be able to speak your truth easier um, in a much more, well, grounded and centered way, as they said. Oh yeah, and I, I don't know if I said uh, Divine Guidance by Cheryl Lee Harnish is what the top cards are. They're pretty awesome. There we go. All right, so the second soul coaching card is passion. So, let's see what that says. All right, follow your bliss. Discover what you absolutely love to do or be, and then, like an arrow directed at its target, don't let anything stop you from fulfilling your passion. Exuberant emotions are coming to you, perhaps in the form of a romance. If you're having difficulty discovering what you're passionate about, 
Go back into your childhood and remember what gave you joy then. If you love to dance as a child, sign up for a movement class. Better yet, put on music and boogie in the living room to your soul's delight. If you adored your crayons, then pull out those colors and splash their bright hues from one side of the page to the other. If you enjoyed observing the insects in your backyard, maybe sign up for a nature study course. Once you're clear on what you are passionate about, do whatever it takes to follow that. Don't wait until it's too late. Many people declare that they'll follow their passion when they retire or have extra time, and consequently, they never experience the absolute exuberance of life. Do it now, if not now, when. Live your life with passion. I passionately accept and love myself. Ah, oh, that's good. Anyway, uh, the one above that. Well, basically, you know, if you really are truthful with yourself and you really balance work and play and follow your passions, what is authentically your passion, then you can do no wrong. I mean, just follow your passions, do what you love, and the universe will bring you what you need, basically. That's what I think so far this has been saying. All right, reflections. There's great beauty in all of your life experiences. Although you feel sad and down at times, spirit is reminding you that this is what can facilitate your greatest growth and evolution, both as a soul and as a human being. You are truly being watched over at this time. Don't fear the darkness within. Remember, without the darkness, there can be no light. This is a time for quiet reflection and inner exploration. Through it, you will discover your light and know what needs to be changed so that you may live a more authentic life. Yeah, definitely. All of these cards are basically saying, <laughs> you know, live, live as authentically as you can and follow your passions and go within and really figure out what it is that is true for you and what you really feel passionately about and follow the things that bring you joy. And, and always check with your heart, you know? Always check with your heart and know, you know, what, it, what is your heart feeling about each situation that you're in. All right, so power. All right, come on, there it is. All right, express your strength with grace and take back your power. It's safe to own your gifts, except that within you is a place of divine strength and inner ability. This card appears when you're ready to stand in your power. If you've lost or given away your authority to someone or something else, it is now time to clean, reclaim it. If you're holding on to limiting beliefs or if you're afraid of being shunned, judged, or ostracized, it's time to let go of those limitations. Release any fear of missing, using your power. True strength doesn't dominate or manipulate. It's a gift from the creator that dwells within you. You have the spiritual power that's born of sacred love, wisdom, and grace. This ability can heal others and bring light into the darkness. I am radiant, glorious, powerful being. I am a, a radiant, glorious, powerful being. Sorry. Oh, my goodness. These are definitely speaking to me as well. I think that it's kind of um, an affirmation or a confirmation for me uh, that I should be doing these readings. <laughs> so it's good to know. All right. The fifth or number five, that one. This is the beginning of a very powerful shift, both spiritually and energetically. This is a complete connection and alignment of your higher self and physical self. Sometimes this alignment can cause chaos and confusion, but there's no need to worry or feel alarmed with what is happening in your life right now. Everything is moving into perfect order as your spiritual and physical selves align into perfect balance. Once complete, your daily life will be in more in harmony with your spiritual path. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. All right, so basically live authentically, Find a balance between work and play, all of that stuff, you know, definitely keep yourself centered, hone in on what it is that you feel passionately about and reflect on certain things that you should change in order to live more authentically and really, you'll really stand in your power and you will really align your like higher self and your physical self and be able to live more authentically in your everyday life. So that's basically what this is all saying. So follow your passions, guys, 
and I will talk to you guys as soon as I can. <laughs> All right, bye.